with all of which I am saying. Thank you, Mr. Thank Speaker. You. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Cowichan, Malahat, Langford. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my uh, colleague from Eg Eglinton Lawrence for his speech. I just wanted to draw his attention to the glaring oversight that is present in this bill, and I'm sure he's already aware of it. The fact that this bill does not include the dropout provisions for child rearing and for disabilities. And, you know, when we first brought this up, we got non-answers from the government, and then finally we had an acknowledgement from the pre President of the Treasury Board that there indeed was a problem. So my question to the member is, with such a glaring oversight in this bill, why is his government shutting down debate on this <laughs> bill, and why are they ramming it through before we've had the chance to properly fix the bill? Honourable Member for England and Lawrence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my honourable colleague for the question. We are not shutting down debate on this bill. As a matter of fact, there are 55 sitting days between September and December. <coughs> we have allocated a substantial amount of that time for debate on this bill. We have heard from over 70 members from the opposition side. We continue to, we continue to listen for new arguments which we have yet to hear for some period of time, but I am quite, I'm quite proud to say that we have had a robust debate. We will continue to have a robust debate, and I look forward to the contributions from the opposition as to how we can continue to enhance long-term retirement security, and it begins by supporting Bill C-26. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Questions?